Conservative new media viewers, we've got some news from the world of men's singles tennis. World number one Novak Nole Djokovic of Serbia has defeated world number two Roger Federer of Switzerland tonight in the dream semifinal of the 2012 Rome Masters. The match took place at Campo Centrale at the Foro Italico in Rome, Italy. The final score of the match was 6-2 and 7-6 for the Serb. The match took one hour and 39 minutes to complete. We will include several links to articles about this story in the video description below the video player as soon as we can. This was Djokovic's match from the beginning. The Serb broke Federer on the Swiss's second service game of the match and easily cruised to a 6-2 opening set victory. In the second set, Federer picked up his serve, but it seemed just a matter of time before Djokovic would get another break and take control. That moment came in the seventh game of the set. However, in the tenth game of the set, Federer broke back and added some drama to this match by extending things into a tiebreaker. But in that tiebreaker, Djokovic got the mini break that he needed and settled in to win the match. Now some quick commentary and analysis on this match, the tournament, and the outlook on the current men's tennis scene as we head into the French Open shortly. First, tomorrow's final will match the world number one, Djokovic, against current world number three, Rafael Nadal of Spain. Should Nadal win that encounter, the Spaniard will climb to number two in the world, a very important development should Nadal wish to defend his 2011 French Open championship. Nadal beat countryman David Ferrer earlier in the night in the other men's semifinal. Second, Djokovic has dominated Nadal over the last three years or so, compiling a 10-3 record against Rafa and winning seven straight matches recently until the Spaniard finally broke the losing streak at last month's Monte Carlo Masters. That Nadal victory, however, came with a footnote. The Serb was grieving the loss of his grandfather and seemed to have little emotional energy as the tournament wore on. With that in mind, tomorrow's final at the Rome Masters, or Internazionale Biennale d'Italia, as it is properly called in Italian, should provide a better gauge of where the two players stand against one another at this time. Third and finally, Djokovic only needs to win the French Open to complete the career Grand Slam benchmark. If he intends on winning a French soon, then he better be prepared to unseat six-time French champion Nadal to do so. Tomorrow, on the red clay of Rome, would be a good time to signal his intentions if the Serb plans to pick up his second major title of the season in a few weeks' time. Additionally, should Djokovic win the French Open, he would complete the Nole Slam and hold all four major titles at the same time. Now, share your thoughts about this match in the comment section below. How great did Nole Djokovic look in this match? Is Djokovic ready to win the French Open? Can Federer recover from this loss and possibly win the French Open? You tell us below. Also, please be sure to let us know what you thought about this video by clicking on the thumbs up or thumbs down button underneath the video player. Thanks. Finally, we encourage you to come and join the fun on the Conservative New Media Facebook group. You will find the link to the group in the video description. This is Paul F. Villarreal reporting, and you're watching Conservative New Media. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.